The first business venture, so to speak, I tried was selling sweets at school. At the time, I was looking to buy a PlayStation and I wanted to buy it myself with my own money. At that age, people were not allowed to go outside of uh, school grounds during the school day. So I thought, perfect, I've got a captive custom base. <laughs> So my first tip is eat the frog. Eat the frog means start your day with the hardest task you have and it means the rest of your day becomes a lot more easier and smoother. In sixth form you'd have free periods for example um, and there's times where I would sit in the free periods and do financial forecasts. People would look over my shoulder and think I'm insane. But I th you know it's difficult to explain but I thought actually okay if I'm prioritising this now and because I know I've got a due date for an essay in two weeks and it's just about managing that workflow learn from real life is my next top tip. Both my parents are deaf, so my older sister and I have been carers um, our whole lives. I think we matured a lot earlier as children because, because we had to. If I go in all the way back to the start of uh, Doorsteps, that starts when um, I moved house when I was about 10 or 11 years old, being carers for my, my parents. We got a bit more of a hands-on experience um, of the whole property move. So I tried to understand the breakdown of costs and you know, a big one inevitably was estate agency fees. So a few years later, we learnt about different disruptors in different industries, taxi driving um, for Uber, shopping with Amazon. This is where I thought actually, why don't we try and connect buyers and sellers directly? My next tip is read a biography. For me, that was Michael O'Leary's biography about when he started Ryanair. I think good biography is really, really motivating. Um, it shows you that it's doable. Um, it shows you that actually the people that started these insanely successful businesses were normal people. And actually they've decided to step out of their comfort zone and take a risk. Um, and that's really inspiring. Teach yourself new things is my next top tip. And I think without teaching yourself, it's difficult to start a business because you need to understand every aspect, um, whether it's your forte or not. And understanding that means you can test the business cheaply. And for me, that was learning floor plans from scratch, photography from scratch, things that I, I didn't have experience in. So one thing I couldn't learn myself, unfortunately, at that point was learning to drive. That's because I was only about 16 or 17. So to get to my first property, I did have to um, pay my sister's boyfriend to drive me down to the property in East Sussex so I could then go and do the visit. My next tip is listen to your mum. I've understood that my mum 95% of the time is right. Um, and she is wiser than yourself. <laughs>。So my mum has been very influential. Um, well, both my parents have. They've never let the disability stand in their way. Seeing that work ethic, especially tracing back to migration, for example, um, for my dad from Africa in, into the UK, um, it's not easy. And they've actually managed to get our family to a stage where we are now, where I'm actually able to take a risk in my own life um, because I've, I'm. I know I've got this stable family background. To be honest, the success and the money hasn't made a difference to my life. I do still live at home, still live with my parents. I still go to the same type of places that I used to. I still don't have a car. It's difficult to actually take a step back and look at the progress you've made because um, I'm always kind of moving the goalposts further away. So I think at the moment we're a startup, we're in the midst of growing, um, and it's really, really exciting stages. But I think we've got so much more to give.